um, even with the black companies that do exist, um, I know you spoke like with Memorial Field. I know there wasn't certain things wasn't open to the bid. There wasn't a, it wasn't bid out to everybody, um, so they couldn't bid on it. Is 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 that a, is that a problem? Well, Memorial Field. Well, I'm just talking about in general, but I know specifically about no, Memorial Field. No, let's talk about Memorial Field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to get too deep in Memorial Field. Oh, no, 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 no. We talk yeah, about yeah, Mount Vernon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but... And everybody uh, wants to know what's going know, on. With, right. with Memorial Field, um, I remember because I, I estimated that whole job to bid on that. I was one of the bidders in that, in, in that list of bidders. Uh, and I remember that whole thing being won by Avanti. And I think they had a great bid. The, the, the key about Memorial Field, that place should have been built already. Well, yeah. I would have never stopped the contract or the development of that job because of the simple fact that you had a company that put in a $13.1 million bid, beat us all out, okay, put up a bond that said they can build it at that price, then let them build it. You know, and and now, now explain we, explain the bond thing because everybody well, doesn't understand that. Well, bonding is something that we usually put up for a job. So let's say you ask me to build your building for you, and I and the building's twenty million dollars. I'll bond it, right? Which you would ask me for a bond. So what I'm doing is getting a bonding company that says if Mr. Wallace does not finish your building, we will pay the money to finish that building. Right. And if he can't do it, we'll get somebody else. But your building will be finished. Right. So so the original deal had a bond. Yeah, okay. yeah. That should be the I believe because I remember when I was bidding in the package, we had to put in a five percent uh, bid bond okay. as well, which comes okay. into in, which comes into place when you're doing these kind of uh, structures. So, so just so course. just for the for the layman, so there was a bond, and if they continued, and if like now they're complaining they didn't have enough money, it would have had to been built because there was a bond. So it the the bond the company with the bond would have put up the money that the rest of the money. All right, all right. Well, I look I look at it this way. Um, even if Mount Vernon didn't have the money, okay, these guys would Call still, us, please hold. These guys would still have to work and build, build as much as they can according to the amount of money that they had. And then it was up to uh, Mount Vernon or, 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 or the county to come in with kicking the, uh, the, the, the rest of the money. Good afternoon. My name is Joseph Pemberton. I work for the City of Mount Vernon, Department of Public Works in the Engineering Bureau. I work as an architectural designer. Um, currently, we're working on a Memorial Field project, um, along with some other ones. But I think this is probably one of the most interesting ones uh, because it is a um, facility that the community sorely misses and is anxious to be able to reuse. Okay, um, this is a rough model of the Memorial Field project you can see here. This would be Sanford Boulevard, this would be Garden Avenue. Um, let me see if I can make it a little more easy to see it. And uh, currently we're working on the phase which would include the new tennis courts and the tennis house. Um, the track area and the field will be done later. Um, what we're doing, and you can see in this picture, is we have created a grade beam and retaining wall structural system, which will then allow us to, let me put the house in there, which will then allow us to put a dome over the tennis courts. Let me put the dome in there. And that will allow us to have, uh, you know, tennis activities throughout the winter. So the dome will go over the courts like that, um, connect to the building so you can be in the building still viewing the tennis courts. Let me bring that around for you. So even though, oops, a bit too much there. Even though you'll be in the structure, there'll be two floors of viewing that will allow you to still uh, view what the dome is up. It. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's being built. Where? You gotta go to the top of TJ Maxx and and Parker Club. You gotta go to the top of TJ Maxx. Hold on, hold on. Are you kidding me? Created a system where 
portion of the building is actually enclosed in the dome. So that's how we solve that problem. Are you kidding me? The dome will cover the tennis courts on all four sides. Um, to answer the question about the six lane and the eight lane track, originally in Memorial Field, it was a six lane, wasn't even six lanes actually, uh, but it was a small track where normal tracks you would go around one time would equal a quarter of a mile. Uh, the Memorial Field track originally was you had to go around one and a half times for a quarter of a mile. So what we did do is we enhanced the footprint um, to make it uh, closer to a 400 meter track. In a true track environment, the first lane is 400 meters and then they get larger as it goes out. Using the allotted space we had from what, where the old track was and taking some space closer to Sanford Boulevard, we were able to make a 400 meter track from about the third lane out. Now, what Clinton had planned to do was turn the track this way, and that's why they had started cutting all into this rock here, and they were going to eliminate part of the tennis courts, and they, were just, they weren't going to develop any of this area over here. They would have fit a true eight-lane, 400-meter track in there, but that's all you would have had. If you can see this area here, they actually were going to reduce the amount of tennis courts and uh, reduce the handball area and the other areas that we're having a um, skateboard park and an accessory field. Are you kidding me? One of the issues when we talked off camera was the whole six to eight lane thing. A lot of people are still that you build the tennis courts, you increase that area to decrease the track and that eight lanes is a regulation. Can you speak to that a little bit? Uh, sure. Um, uh, first of all, um, when we started out uh, uh, with the planning for Memorial Field, uh, we did consider the track. Um, we looked at the track, we looked at the field, we looked at the tennis. Um, it's a real non-starter because eight lanes, simply put, a, uh, an eight lane track does not fit in the uh, real estate that we have. As simple as that. And the other thing that people should know is that the track that was there uh, before uh, was not a regulation track. You could not have any meets uh, on that uh, on that uh, track. So now what we've done is we have taken six lanes, which is uh, is uh, serviceable for any track meet. And we've made it meet uh, the uh, appropriate standards. So right now, you can have things that you could not have before. You can have track meets, and plus you can, as far as the tennis courts are concerned, you can have USTA sanctioned uh, tennis matches. So it's a win-win situation. Now speak about the tennis courts. A lot of people feel like we didn't need tennis courts. People in Mount Vernon don't play tennis all of those kind of things like that. So can you just speak to that a little bit? I don't know who, obviously people uh, do a lot of talking and don't know what they're talking about. Uh, we have junior tennis down there, uh, tennis development. Um, Mount Vernon has been uh, in the forerunners of junior tennis. Um, and uh, we compete all over the county and we always come in uh, first or near first place. Are you kidding me? Um, and that's how they had planned to fit it in. Also, they were knocking down the entire grandstand and trying to come back with a um, something that wasn't as nice as the historic stuff. So that's But that's a that line inherited. And this is part of the reason why I have a problem with um, uh, the, the situation I find myself in, inheriting so many challenges as a young Democrat coming up. And, and seeing how complex they are and all the bad decisions made before I got here, it's just, it's, it's a real tough road ahead. And all I can say is I, I was very happy to stop it in its tracks. And, and I'm really looking forward to getting more clarity so we can finish this field with the, with the remaining money we have, because a rehab in this case could have been and should have been the option because it was cost effective and would have produced the most benefit.
Uh, all right, uh, Lyndon, can you um, yeah, expound me, on the strings attached? Because yeah, let, that, let me expound a, part a couple of, of things. Uh, one, um, the council never voted. You, you guys didn't vote for a revised project, so there was never a vote taken for that. How are you going to tell me I haven't, I haven't voted? I mean, look, the project, <laughs> the we, we, project? we rejected the deal as it stands, and look, the, the the original design is an epic failure, and and you know it. Well, I mean, I'm not here to argue, I'm, with the I'm, but I'm telling design, you, like it's an epic failure. So to to come here and claim that there was a, a good deal to begin with, I, I can't I right, can't accept that. Me, so if you want to talk about something yeah. else, no, I, you I, know, I, I'll, I'll be more than happy to talk about that yeah. if you want. Let me let me talk about exactly what I started to say, because it, this is what happens in uh, Vernon. I think we've got to really get to a point where we focus on how do we move ahead and do that in a constructive way. Exactly. And if we're going to be looking back, we've got to look back at the facts as they are because what I'm saying, I'm not saying it's provable. You know, I mean, you, you, can, it, don't, you don't have to take my word. If one wants to, 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 to challenge my word, you can go back and look at whether or not how it was done. But let me, I'm not here to defend whether or not the original project was a better project than this project because I think we spent too much time on, on those things rather than time on how do we move from where we are, which is stuck in the mud, right. to try to get to some place where we ought to be. And so in saying that, I, I want to say that the, the funding right now, you know, they decided, the city decided we're going to rehab the building. Fine, that's a decision. The cost of the rehab so far today has gotten the city in a $5 million hole. In other words, they have got to come up with about $5 million more of taxpayers' money, Mount Vernon taxpayers' money, to do what the, the rehab, to rehab the stadium because of the additional work that it's going to involve. Especially with an old building. Yeah, with and, an old and, building. And and that's, uh, that's really the dilemma that I see that the city is in. And the county's position has been that, look, the county's been for supporting the program all along, but they do not, they want to get assurances from the city that if they put additional money in, the project is going to be completed. No. And that, that's a reasonable request to say, if you're going to build a stadium that's going to cost you $5 million more because you decide to make this decision and go down this track, you need to give me some assurances that you can, put this, you can pay this money before I can put my money in and make it work. Right. And I think that's what we should be focused on getting done. All right. And, yeah. and let's, let's go to... Uh, let's go to what the mayor had to say about the situation. The SNAT concession stand, and uh, it had a lot of graffiti and stuff on it. I and told he, him to do And he said that, that, that it had asbestos or something, and, you know, they didn't have the, the workers didn't have the proper uh, attire. You know, some people had shorts and sneakers. They didn't have boots and hard hats and what construction stuff. So these people get sick or hurt. If you want to speak to that. Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, to assume that there's asbestos on, on sites is the first thing that you got to dissuade yourself from. If we uh, had an indication that that was asbestos, uh, obviously uh, it would have been illegal. Uh, to do that without the proper And that was protection. the point he was saying that it was being done it, illegally. It, uh, uh, I'm an architect and I cannot tell you that um, just summarily that there's asbestos. And in, in, in fact, I can tell you that there was not asbestos in it because we have a, a clearance and an asbestos report that shows that we have removed asbestos from the site. So for uh, Councilman Thomas to come to that conclusion, it means that he's come to a conclusion without fact. And he's uh, parlayed that as if it were fact. It is not fact. A little bit why that was necessary or how that process went, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, first of all, the, the um, memorial field uh, under the Clinton administration uh, was to tear completely down an iconic stadium. There's no other stadium like that. Um, that and that's, the, that's uh, Rich, that's from the mayor, um, straight from the mayor uh, speaking. Uh, yeah. his, his Friday after I saw you at your press conference. Yeah. I mean, look, what report? Like, where is it? 
I mean, it sounds like McCarthy holding up a bunch of papers saying people are communists. I mean, at the end of the day, all I can tell you is they don't have the documents. And to say that asbestos was removed from the site, it could have been from the grandstands when they took out the seats. It could have been from another structure. There's no guarantee that the documents are there. And even if, you know, let's just uh, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, you take a look at just the fact that it was built before 1984. And you take a look at the fact that no matter what you do to knock down a structure, you must, you must um, have a demolition permit. And you can't knock Call something down. Hold. You can't knock something down using, you know, water department equipment. Um, you can't knock something down without the proper rights and protocols. And just, again, you know, I have issues with the, the way um, things are being done because, again, the risks are not worth the reward. And, and I'm not you know, on this council to be silent just because, you know, we think something, at the end of the day, you know, all I can tell you is we, we need to reverse all the mistakes at Memorial Field. Uh, all right. Um, we lost the caller. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the second clip. Lyndon, uh, Lyndon Williams said on his Facebook page, uh, Saturday, Labor Day weekend, um, <clears throat> basically that $3.4 million was released and there's no accounting of where that money was spent and, um, you know, no one's turning over, you know, wh where the money was spent before they release any more money. Would you like that, to speak that? That is a lie. That is just a bald-faced lie. Um, uh, and all of the monies that have been expended has been given to legislator Williams. The, the three point something million dollars have basically been used uh, for consultant fees. The architects, the engineers, uh, the studies, uh, the uh, removal of uh, asbestos, uh, things like that. And uh, no new monies have been given to this administration. What we have done uh, during my tenure is we have spent our own money to get us this far. For him to say that is just absolutely untrue. And I'll tell you, I think the leadership deserves better, uh, at least in this case. Uh, Linda Williams has delivered small things to, to, the, to the city. Uh, he has been effective in some areas. In this area, he absolutely has not been uh, effective. And to say that your own city is not doing what it needs to do to get the money is just a lie. And it, it's a smoke screen uh, because his effort in this case has not been effective. His effort in trying to bring money to Fourth Street Playground. He mentioned that not, during the rally too. Yeah. Has not been effective. So here I am, sitting here, uh, waiting on the money from the legislature, uh, and it's not forthcoming because he's not delivered. To say that uh, you're going to protect the taxpayer, uh, and I, I, I read that, and accountability, those are words thrown around uh, for convenience. They, they have no meaning in terms of this project. If you are accountable, my question is, accountable to whom? You, you represent Mount Vernon, and Mount Vernon has been hurt consistently because of county practices. We take in. Uh, Lyndon, you want to respond yeah, to I that? I mean, I, uh, <laughs> it's amazing because the mayor said that um, no money actually came to, Mount, to the benefit of Mount Vernon, right? I mean, he didn't, does he dispute that $3.4 million? And isn't that a benefit to Mount Vernon? The $3.4 million of county money has been spent. Uh, I think that, you know, I mean, I, uh, as I said, the record, you know, everyone can say anything they want to, but I can tell you any statement I make, there's documentation to back it up. I don't uh, just make statements without documentation. Secondly, uh, you know, in terms of accountability, there were $2.1 million of the $3.4 million that was supposed to go toward the construction, it's really, it was supposed to go toward the demolition of the entire stadium, okay? The city decides that, and, and the city went out to bid for that work, 
basically. So basically, there's been some quotes in, in terms of how much money you're going to spend for that. When I talk about accountability, what I'm saying is that, you know, the mayor came back and he says, I'm going to need more money to demolish the stands. And I'm saying we need to understand if we spend $2.1 million for in a bid project to demolish the entire stadium, why is it that we need more money to demolish the stadium? I see a progression. The only, only thing going to bring that shit back is we got to do an Empire concert in, in Memorial <laughs> Empire. Lucius, 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 Lucius. Talent presents the Lucius Lion sound. <laughs> With Jamal, we're going to raise money to finish the field with Lucius Lyon. You know, you know, 